Funding for the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, Iowa Farm Bureau, Girls State Volleyball Championships is provided by... The path to greatness starts early. The Iowa Farm Bureau believes in Iowa's youth and their pursuit of greatness. That's why we're proud to be the title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Each student's effort is important, and when one rises, we all rise to a better Iowa. Fairway, along with Nabisco, Frito-Lay, and Sarah Lee, is a proud sponsor of the Iowa Girls Sports Championships. We congratulate all the schools and student athletes participating in this year's Girls High School State Volleyball Championships. Fairway, proud to care for the places we work and live. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialists, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community. MidAmerican Energy and their Energy Advantage programs are dedicated to increasing the awareness of energy efficiency in Iowa's homes and businesses. Information is at midamericanenergy.com. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Championship Volleyball. Iowa Public Television is here at the U.S. Cellular Center in Cedar Rapids to bring you the State Volleyball Championships. Up now is the Class 2A title game. Death, Taxes, and Western Christian and Dyke New Hartford are back at it again in a traditional matchup in the championship game. Hello again, everyone, and good afternoon, wherever you may be, with Sandy Stewart. This is B.J. Shaven, and Sandy, these two have faced off before in the state championship game. It seems like they're here every year, but this year, they also have some real quality out on the floor. Oh, my gosh. It's tradition breeds tra tradition breeds traditional winning, and these two powerhouses are going to really have a good match tonight here. It should be a fun one as we take a look at the resume for both of these two teams entering this title game. Up first, we'll take a look at Dyke New Hartford mm -hmm. as they come into this matchup. You know, the thing that we've seen out of them is they, you know, they won the championship last year in 3A. This year they dropped because of enrollment to Class 2A. And then, of course, their 11th overall state trip. And, Sandy, you really like the lineup that they've you know, got. Four really outstanding seniors with the twins, uh, Bailey and Sydney Peterson, really leading this team. Uh, of course, it wouldn't happen without Madison Hedges. She's their setter quarterback, really runs the offense. And then junior uh, Amber Rickards comes in there with an amazing uh, blocking talent there. Very quick offense. They're going to be hard to beat tonight. And on the other side of the net, Western Christian, the Wolfpack, won last year's 2A championship. This is their 17th straight trip to state. And of course, just a traditional program, but they've got a player that really has a lot on her mind here today in Ashton Verbeek. Exactly. She's been a four-year starter, started as a freshman here, plays for her mom. So it's her last match playing for her mom. Talk about how emotional it was for both of them yesterday, knowing that there was a near at the end of it. So they want to go out on top, and uh, they're going to have their hands full, but I think they're going to bring their A game today against uh, Dyke New Hartford. Well, let's transition now to the public address announcer for today's game. Here's Gina Rogers. Award honors the Iowa coach who has demonstrated a successful career while making notable contributions towards school, community, and the coaching profession. Presenting this year's Golden Plaque Award is IGH exec IGHSAU Executive Director Gene Berger and Volleyball Administrator Lisa Brinkmeyer. The 2017 recipient of the Volleyball Golden Plaque of Distinction Award is Tammy Vierbeek from Western Christian. Tammy's been coaching high school volleyball for 22 seasons and has been at Western Christian for the last 19. She has enjoyed unparalleled success in her tenure with the Wolfpack. She has taken 18 teams to the state tournament, including 17 straight. Western Christian has reached the state title match 17 times under her guidance and have won 10 state titles, which ranks second all time. Tammy has 886 career wins, which ranks third on Iowa's all-time list. She has been named Iowa Coach of the Year seven times and was the 2008 nominee for National Volleyball Coach of the Year. She's also a member of the IGHSAU Volleyball Advisory Committee. 
Tammy and her husband Ron have three children, Ashton, a senior on this year's volleyball team, Trey and Chase. Congratulations to this year's 2017 Golden Plaque of Distinction Award recipient from Western Christian, Tammy Fearbeek. And congratulations to Coach Fearbeek on the award of distinction here from the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. That was, of course, Jason Esslinger. As uh, we get you ready for this matchup with Dyke New Hartford and Western Christian, we're looking forward to it. These two teams have uh, had a lot of success against other competition, but against one another, Dyke New Hartford has really had their way with Western, winning four of their last mm -hmm. five state championship matches. Definitely. You know, it's a very much of a powerhouse coming at Dyke New Hartford, so Western Christian's really going to bring their A game to compete with them tonight. Well, let's now go to the team introductions. Here's Gina Rogers. Now let's meet the teams for today's Class 2A Championship. The visiting team on the scoreboard, the Wolverines from Dyke, New Hartford. So they were Class 3A champions a year ago. They've won 12 state titles, five and one in the last six championship games that they have played in. Coming here with an amazing record, only three losses now on the, the season. Home team on the scoreboard. The Wolfpack own 15 <laughs> state championships, 17th straight trip to the state tournament, and they've reached the state championship match 16 of the last 17 years, winning 10 of those games. Another amazing program and a nice honor for uh, head coach uh, Tammy Verbeek, an emotional night for her daughter. Now let's meet the non-starters for the Wolverines. Number three, Margaret Nielsen. Number four, Katie Knox. Number five, Jill Albert. Number nine, Alyssa Beckether. Number 11, Elizabeth Mobley. Number 12, Sydney Loggy. Number 15, Courtney Bolhuth. And number 17, Riley Wesley. Assistant coaches are Lawrence Carms, Lacey McDonough, Suzanne Muroth and Lauren Cavan. Now the starters for the Wolverines. Number two, Madison Hedges. Number seven, Morgan Weber. Number 10, Allie Alder. Number 13, Carly Dove. Number 16, Amber Rickert. 21, Bailey Peterson. And the libero is number eight, Sydney Peterson. Head coach for the Wolverines is Diane Harm. Now let's beat the non-starters for the Wolfpack. Number three, Madison Bile. Number four, Corey DeYoung. Number five, McKenna Koima. Number six, Avery Van Clay. Number eight, Kayla Zevenbergen. Number 11, Abby Postma. Number 12, Emma Golker. And number 14, McKay Van Hall. The assistant coaches are Mindy Dieger and Kayla Bartman. Now the starters for the Wolfpack. Number zero, Jesse Dieger. Number two, Olivia Grenstra. Number seven, Madison Hoffman. Number nine, Tori Wienia. Number 10, Chandler Skipper. And number 13, Ashton Verbeek. The libero is number one, Emma Bosma. Head coach for the Wolfpack is Tammy Verbeek. Officials for the match are referee, first referee Greg Bokov, line judge Megan Timmons, second referee Gene Stanlander, and line judge Jody Walinga. Now let's play championship volleyball! All right, we are ready 
need to go, but first, let's take a look at Sandy Stewart's keys to the game. What does Dyke New Hartford need to do? You know, they've been running a balanced attack, and that's going to have to continue tonight. Uh, they've got four good hitters that um, Hedges can go to, so she's really going to have to quarterback that spread offensive attack. And again, play great defense. Western Christian brings a lot of firepower, so they're going to have to play some office, offensive, uh, some great uh, defense tonight. On the other side of the net, Western Christian. Exactly. Western Christian has a huge height advantage in this match. Four players, six foot or better. Much bigger than Dyke Newhart. Need to take advantage of that. Win those battles at the end. And then big game from the two seniors. As I mentioned, Aston Verbeek playing the last match for her mom tonight. And Jesse Dieger, another six foot. They run through the middle. The male hitters are going to have to have a big game for uh, Western Christian tonight. Well, this title match in Class 2A has the feelings of a prize fight. The history that the two have against one another and what they've been able to accomplish. And many feel it could potentially be the end of the dynasty because of what they are both losing heading into next year. But really, never say never against these programs. Let's just sit back and enjoy. Dyke New Hartford will be wearing black uniforms with royal blue trimmed in white. Western Christian will open up the serve. They have black uniforms with maroon colors trimmed in white. Don't have to adjust your TV. We're in fine <laughs> HD here on Iowa Public Television. Here's Verbeek who will push it across. Peterson to Hedges. Now they go to Weber and she'll get the first point of the state championship match as Dyke New Hartford works their offense to perfection. Yeah, beautiful quick outside set. That's going to be a challenge for uh, Western Christian to really get that outside block set out there on their quick attacks. And Madison Hedges will serve. Had a couple of aces in the semifinals. Verbeek with the splash, but handled by Weber. Battle for it at the net, and guess what? Dyke New Hartford wins it. Carly Dove. Yeah, not, nice smart play there. It was a nice high set. No blocker up there except the one-on-one, -on -one, and she's able to sneak it in there. Well, that was Amber Rickard, who's one of the top blockers there for the Dyke team. They run the quick set, and guess what? There's Amber Rickard. There are four Wolverines who average more than 10 kills per match this season, which is amazing. And Hedges is the one that sets them up. Yeah, a lot of uh, good balance to attack, runs quick attack. Unusual service there for Dyke New Hart. A little nerves early, maybe. But they're starting Bailey Peterson, their top hitter on the left side, so she'll have three rotations to do some damage for Dyke New Hartford. Winya, the sophomore. With the serve. And Western Christian will get the point, making it 3-2. Pretty tough to hit around a 6-2 blocker when she's right on top of the ball. So uh, nice block there by Ashton Verbeek. Winya with 52 aces during the regular season. Peterson will put it up for Weber. And this one's going to go wide. And just like that, a three-point run of their own to tie this one up at three apiece. And you'll see they're keeping the set off the net, which is really smart. They're trying to give the offensive attacker some options there, but uh, just a little bit too of a wide swing for Bailey Peterson there. Hedges to the outside. Boy, Weber with the strong right hand. Still keeps Dyke New Hartford out in front. And one of the young players on the Dyke New Hartford team, only a sophomore, and but 5'11", one of the taller players on the team here for the Wolverines. Back this way, they find Verbeek. All right, talk about strength. <laughs> That'd be Ashton Verbeek. Yeah, big six foot two player going to Nebraska next year to play basketball. She's going to switch sports and also on the uh, championship basketball team for the Wolfpack, but trying to bring home another volleyball championship tonight. In a way, it has to be kind of heartbreaking for her mom being a volleyball <laughs> coach to see her play basketball, but in another way, she might get a chance to see her play more yeah. because the seasons don't really intertwine exactly. with one another. And Lincoln's not too far of a trip down from uh, northeast or northwest Iowa there, so. Peterson shot gets in. Bailey, Pe With Bailey Peterson, a UNI Northern Iowa uh, recruit, going to go play for her mom next year. Really nice outside attacker. And it's nice they're keeping the set off the net for her so she doesn't have to compete with that big block. Terrific, terrific story about the Petersons, but really it encompasses the whole team. Dyke New Hartford, the way that they 
act both on and off the court. You won't find a more pleasant team to be around. A lot of please and thank yous and <laughs> sirs and ma'ams. It's quite astonishing. But, you know, we, when we had a chance to visit with the Dyke New Hartford team yesterday, uh, they're a pretty close-knit bunch as Verbeek gets this one down. Yep. Both of these two, you know, the little uh, schools from smaller towns, they've grown up together, played ball together for a long time, and both teams really a close-knit team. But, you know, Dyke New Hartford's amazing. They, their only three losses come to the 5A schools this year, two to the champion and uh, one to Linmar. So they come in here pretty tough to beat, as you can see right there why. Carly Dove gets that point. 7-5, Dyke New Hartford. And really, the, the two programs have such a good history against one another. I mean, Diana Harms, the head coach for Dyke New Hartford, and Tammy Beerbeek, they get along so well. But after last year's championship games, they both took a combined picture together with both championship <laughs> trophies. Exactly. And, you know, now they're in the same class, so it makes it a little uh, bittersweet here that got to compete against each other here for this championship. Side out for Western Christian. Nice joust at the net there, won by Western Christian. This is Olivia Granstra. Now she's only a sophomore, so she's going to be back next year. She's that runs their uh, modified 6-2 offense for the uh, Wolverines, or the Wolfpack, I'm sorry. Hedges to Peterson, and she just found the corner. Smart hitter there. Again, they're playing middle back, so that deep uh, position one is going to be open. And she pushes it deep there. Nice, really nice deep tip to that back corner for the winner. Here's Bailey Peterson. Mm. And that one's going to be ruled out. Wolfpack wanted a deflection not happening. And Dyke New Hartford matches their largest lead of the set, which they jumped out to a 3 0 lead. It was tied a couple of times, and now they're showing their strength down the stretch, winning five of the last seven points. Nice outside. They usually go to the middle as their strength, but nice uh, mix up there by the uh, Granstra setter, the quarterback for uh, Western Christian to kind of mix it up a little bit. So Chandler Skimper will go back to serve. The 5'8 junior, really known for her defense. In fact, had 300 digs during the regular season as this one is an ace. <laughs> Oh, that was one of those balls that looked out and then uh, just dropped. That's the thing about playing in a big arena like that. You're going to get a lot of different uh, uh, ball movement with the air drag currents in the gym, and that just took a nosedive right on the end line. Skimper goes at it again, and she serves aggressively, and you'll have that. Yeah, one for one there. Two-point advantage for Dyke New Hartford, and now back to serve is going to be Sydney Peterson. Of course, her twin sister is Bailey, but Sydney. Going to be going on to play college volleyball at Texas. And what a recruit they landed, did the Longhorns. All right, she's one of the top liberos in the in the state, in the country, actually. And she wanted to go, went until she could do the chance to play in the Final Four. Texas is perennial power, so she's going to be heading south. She'll probably like the winners down there a little bit better than at Pendike. <laughs> Had to be. When she said it really wasn't an interesting conversation with her mom, she said it was just rather direct. Not like most kids would have slid or slid in the fact that they were going to be leaving home during breakfast, maybe, or and I'll take some Cheerios. I'm going to Texas and some orange juice. Gonna go that way. Exactly. A couple different kind of kids, but uh, I think uh, she's got some good uh, opportunity there in Texas. But Bailey's gonna stay home and uh, go play for the Panthers. 11-9, our score. Hedges. They run the slide. Nice coverage there on the Debian. Mm. Had a double hit, so it's got to be a clean hit with both hands. You can't have one hand more than the other, and it slipped out of her fingers there. So kind of an unforced error there for the Wolfpack. Hedges will go back to serve. You know, Dyke New Hartford here at the state tournament has been steamrolling their competition, mm -hmm. and all six sets they've won by a 150 to 63 margin. <laughs> yeah, they just dominated yesterday in the semifinal. Western Christian 3-0, but not quite near that domination. But both come teams coming here winning their matches 3-0. They mm -hmm. took care of Council Bluff St. Albert in 58 minutes. And they get the point here at the net, their largest lead here at four. Now here we see where Ashen Verbeek is up there, 6-2. She mistimed her jump, didn't get over far enough. She's got to win those jousts. They've really got to control the net up there when they get the opportunity. Weber to Hedges. 
And a little misdirection there. And Rickert goes long. Side out, Western Christian. That well, wasn't the best uh, transition there for Dyke New Hartford there. A little out of sync there, out of system, and wasn't able to keep the ball in. 50-50 ball. It's tight. Now, Those tight passes are really tough to handle. This one kept alive, and Weber <laughs> will put it across. There's where you see the athleticism out of Sidney Peterson. Boy, good coverage of the court on both sides. Oh, oh wow. and a good dig Fanta out of the back. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. And Bowsma can't catch up to this one, and the Wolverines get the tough point. Madison Hedges, great quarterback. I tell you, a beautiful push set to that deep corner. Had her hands like she was going to set a great decoy, and smart play there by the senior setter out of uh, for the Wolverines. Now Weber back to serve. Hedges to Peterson, and she'll get the kill. Now, yeah, a little bit of a low set, tight set, and uh, the experience of Peterson. She knew she couldn't swing. She just took the ball and wiped it off the block. Scores, nice score there. Jumped out to a big five-point lead. They're putting the pressure on Western Christian early. Wolverines with a very impressive resume mm -hmm. throughout the year. Their losses are to only Linmar and Cedar Falls. Mm -hmm. They split the regular season with Cedar Falls, who won the Class 5A championship earlier today. As you see, Western Christian come up with a tough point here. Yeah, we talked about control and net. The big height, height advantage there for Western Christian. So nice block there by Ashton Verbeek to recover on that one, get her hands up over the net. It's eerily quiet here at the U.S. <laughs> Cellular Center as Western Christian serves. Record shot blocked, but it goes out. Another uh, key thing that Dyke New Harbor's doing is they're mixing up their attack. And it's a quick attack, a quick back set, and that block is late getting there. Nice kill. Amber Rickert doing some damage up there. Weber from the back to Hedges. And they go right to Doug, who has a block back by Veerbeek. A big, big, big block up there. And again, they're running quick. And that time, Veerbeek timed her jump perfectly. And the coverage for Dyking Hartford, not quite there to pick up the ball. So she'll take a seat. Now, full Wolfpack, they play about nine players every set. They do a modified 6-2. They do a lot of rotation, plus their libero. So they get a lot of players on the court. If we go to a long match, that may come to, into play. They've got some time to rest on the bench. Where Dyke play is usually seven players pretty much all the way around, except for the libero. So a pretty set lineup for them. You know, both teams told us, too, they would have a little jitters coming in. <laughs> To this game, I haven't seen it yet. Have you? No, they're playing. They're <laughs> playing pretty tough out there. Playing all out. They're familiar foes for sure. And how about the blast that time by Jesse Dieger? Yeah, when Verbeek goes out, Dieger comes in. Six-one senior. Again, two big games they're going to need. You'll see Verbeek on the bench there taking a break. Well, Dieger comes in for her in the front row. Dieger had quite a day yesterday in the semifinals against Grundy Center. 15 kills in the win. But how about that? Oh, <laughs> devastating. You know, and for, you wouldn't know it, but she is only five foot seven. Five seven is not a big player in the, this, the current day, day and age for volleyball players, but she gets up and gets on top of the ball. A lot of time with the jump rope. Okay. Hedges to the outside, that's Weber. And now with Peterson in the back row, uh, they go to the outside of Morgan Weather. She's their number two hitter, 441 kills on the year, uh, just behind Peterson with 441. So their offense runs to the outside. This opening set starting to slip away from Western Christian and the Wolfpack. Take a timeout. Let's go to their huddle. I get it. But if she's not in the middle, why? She should not touch the ball. You have half the court to get it on that side, correct? Okay, she's too good. We got to get it away from her. If we have to tip, tip to that donut, okay? But we need to keep swinging. Defend like crazy, right stay back, you have it. And get that weight shifted forward. Don't get caught going backwards, okay? Get that weight shifted, dig, let's go. Stay aggressive, stay aggressive. Team, one, two, three, team. Couple things there, she, you know, just be aggressive and keep swinging. And what you've seen a couple times on defense, they're not getting back to base position. They're not moving towards the attacker. Their weight is back. So when the hitter's up to hit, you want your weight forward as a defensive player so you can move any direction to pick up that ball. So we'll see if that timeout can kind of slot the momentum here that uh, Dyke New Hartford has on a roll. 
Pretty good pass. Blocked, but it's handled. And Young going to be called for the double hit. Mm -hmm. Or De excuse me. Now, Dyke and Hartford, they do have some height in the middle. 6-1 Carly Dove up there. Doing some good job against uh, the height of, uh, of Western Christian. Mm. Peterson with the dig. Nice uh, end court view of the court here at USLU. Peterson from oh, the back row, and that just did get in. Beautiful. She is really a smart, just like her mama. I met, I coached against her mama back in the, when she played at UNI. Kind of a family tradition there, great volleyball players. With probably Becker Peterson and now her daughters following in that tradition. So we'll back to serve here again. Of course, mom watching from the road. You and I in action tonight on the road. Weekend tournament as they try to wind out the regular season. And coming right back, Western Christian gets on the board. Again, De Yeager getting a good pass there from Tori Wienia. Well, she's the number two leader of kills on the team, 274 on the season. And we mentioned the key things are going to be for her and uh, both Ashton for Verbeek to have big games tonight. Now Skimper. Beautiful pass. Hedges over to the side. That's tough to stop when they roll with it and Carly Dove. Again, you, with that pass, you've got a lot of options with the offense. And again, a great job, Madison Hedges on the back set. So they're uh, running that quick, uh, quick attack with a lot of uh, spreading the offense out throughout the net, making those blockers move. Another perfect pass. And this end of the middle, and Rickard, she's had quite a first set here. Six kills now. Beautiful pass. One thing you'll notice with uh, Dyke New Hartford, they don't pass a slow, easy pass. I mean, they shoot that ball up to the center. That is such a, I mean, that was the offense we ran at Iowa. You run a quick, quick offense. You've got to go quick. Make that off, make those defensive players work. Set point will have to wait a little bit as Dieger comes up with another kill. Her fourth to lead all Western Christian players. Still a nine point deficit. And a service error is going to end the first set. Pretty convincing for Dyke New Hartford. Western Christian is going to have to come back strong in the second set. 25 15, the final here in the first set. We'll be back right after these messages. Join the conversation online with Iowa Public Television. Follow us on Facebook. Connect with us on all our social networks. This month in Passport, your on-demand library of the best of PBS. He said, welcome home. It was just a powerful moment. He was here under my very nose. How do you sleep at night, George? Perhaps you should ask Elizabeth. We could never have imagined the channels, the lakes. We are going through an area no one has gone through before. These and other shows are available on Passport. Become a member of this PBS station. Sign in and start streaming today. If the Acropolis had a roof, Foo Fighters would raise it. Here we go! It's an amazing once-in-a-lifetime Foo Fighters concert. Meet the band with your host, Chad Smith, of Red Hot Chili Peppers. Welcome to Green. Join us when Foo Fighters rock the Acropolis on Landmark's Live in Concert. A great performance is special. See it tonight at 9.30 on Iowa Public Television. Hi, I'm Charity Nebbe. Thanksgiving is a time to bring family and friends together and to enjoy the flavors of the season. Thank you very much. On a special edition of Iowa Ingredient, I'm cooking with my family here in the studio kitchen as we prepare our Thanksgiving favorites. Give one more stir. Whoa. Smells amazing. It's an Iowa Ingredient Thanksgiving celebration. Enjoy the start of a new season Saturday morning at 1130. I'm Paula Kerger, President and CEO of PBS, and you're watching Statewide Iowa Public Television. What a first set, Dyke New Hartford flexing their muscles, winning it by 10, 25 to 15. 
As we take a look at the first set highlights here, really got off to a nip and tuck match. Thank you, Harper jumped out to a 3 nothing lead. Western Christian then would respond to tie it up to three, but then the Wolverines just took over. Their size in the middle. Rickert with a big first set with six kills. Bailey Peterson with five. Morgan Weber with four. And they really spread the ball around quite a bit as we take a look at the road to the final. You see where Dyke New Hartford took care of Popsy Valley and Council Bluff St. Albert. For Western Christian, a winner over Iowa City Regina, then Grundy Center to make their way here to the championship game. Exactly, and that first set, Dyke New Hartford, like you mentioned, did show their, their power there with uh, 19 kills for this for the first set. So, and they spread it out quite a bit, not relying on one player, running a very fast attack, which uh, it was gonna be the critical thing for them to beat that block for Western Christian. Oh, and you look at it too, Dyke New Hartford hitting better than 417 yeah. and just 147 for Western Christian. That's not typical numbers for the Wolfpack. Right, and uh, 20 total digs, and a lot of those from Sidney Peterson, who really set the offense up for uh, the Hedges to really run a great offense. But hopefully, you know, that Western Christian will get back in this. They hung tight early on. They just need to keep that momentum and not uh, let, let the gap get there where they can at least keep it competitive, so. Well, let's go to the second set here as we'll get things started with Thank New Hartford opening up with the serve as it will be Sydney Peterson. 51 aces this year at 14 digs. Huge game against Council Bluff St. Albert the other night, and of course, ready to serve it up here. And Diego gets Western Christian out on the board first. And that was, again, look for a beautiful pass there, and a nice uh, mix up of the back set there, and a block a little bit late getting there. Beautiful attack by Diego. And for Dyke New Hartford, it's been a very long time since they've lost a set, actually. I mean, you have to go back to when they played Columbus Catholic in their conference, and they won that three to one. But that's how dominating they've been. Yeah, pretty just, I, mean, I guess the biggest thing is their ball control. They are so sound fundamentally with ball control, running that quick offense and ups like that from a great libero. It's been 13 matches since they've lost a set. And the Wolfpack jump out to a 2-1 lead. Yeah, a little off timing in there, but her power is able to get the roll over the net. So far, uh, so, so far, so good for Western Christian. So here's Tori Winya. Hmm. And did not get enough elevation on that serve. Again, those are just mental errors. It's just kind of, she rushed it a little bit. The toss was low. Um, you know, she could have let the ball, the ball drop and re-toss, but you've just got to make smart decisions at this level for playing for a championship. Peterson just off the court. So the setter took the first hit over there on Western Christian, so they just pushed it over on the second ball. Now they come back in the block back for Beek. Had oh. that one pushed back. Nice. This one's going to be saved in. What a terrific play. <laughs> and Peterson will get this one down. They're attacking that far back corner yeah. is Dyke New Hartford. Zone one. Zone one, and that was a tough scramble for the defense to get back, and Peterson knew that that corner was gonna be open. Uh, nice, nice line deep shot there with the, the power tip. And a service error by Dyke New Hartford. Both teams missing a couple of serves there that are uncharacteristic there. Madison Hoffman will now come in to serve. Her first action here in the second set talking about the tradition at Western Christian. Her mom played uh, here a few years ago in 1993. It was uh, Balsamo's mother played here, as well as, of course, Kenny Van Clay Verbeek also played here. So three of these players have had moms that have come through this, this uh, program here back in the early 90s. And each one of them, and we've heard it from a lot of moms who have daughters playing here in the state <laughs> tournament, my how things have changed, <laughs> you know, yeah. from the exposure that oh, they're getting, yeah. but also, just from the fanfare. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is it is the hot ticket here in Cedar Rapids. Exactly. So it's a full house every night. It's a great venue here, plus all the coverage on Facebook Live and YouTube and Iowa Public TV, IPT.org and online. So the coverage has been great for the Iowa girl here for, for the girls volleyball program in the state. Amy Van Clay with the serve. 
I'm going to be put back up by Winya. And they get the power down by Carly Dove. Okay, we talked about that, that transition from defense to offense. Nobody does this better than Dyke New Hartford. So perfect pass from uh, Peterson up to Hedges and a quick attack, and that's hard to defend. Aldert with the serve. Put up by Peterson, now to Hedges. Mm. And they come right back to the other Peterson, Bailey. Nice dig back there. Dove finds the opening mm -hmm. again. Again, they're really spreading the offense. Nice job, brother Madison Hedges, spreading out the offense on the backslide. Dyke New Hartford now with their largest lead here of the set at three. Found a lead change. Western Christian trying to get back into it. Nice scramble. And Doug just cannot get control of the ball. Side out, Western Christian. Did a nice show of uh, trying to follow the setter. You'll, when you're a middle hitter, you want to follow the setter, and the setter had to back up, and just a little mistiming on their uh, connection that time. Peterson with the kill. Free ball here for Dyke New Hartford. Hedges to Dove. The Jaeger with the blast. Now Peterson. Great rally. Oh. oh, nobody home for Western Christian. The Wolverines had just beat him back to that back line. Yeah, the center kind of got stuck behind the middle hitter, wasn't able to get there, so that's a tough, tough break there for uh, Western Christian. Calling a double hit. That was up. Kind of a tough pass to handle when you're running out sideways and trying to get your shoulders turned and push the ball to the outside. Uh, a little more advanced skill, and she just didn't quite get a good touch on that one. And this one blocked back <laughs> in the middle. Dove in on the action as Diego tried to hammer that one home. Take a look at it here. And he kind of knew a great block there because that's pretty much the only option she had to go. And double block out there. Got to hit smarter than that. Western Christian will burn their second or first time out here of the second set. Let's go to the dyke bench. Back in, okay? Don't float out because you guys had it until you floated out that with Amber one time, okay? So out and press in, okay? So when you're hitting that cross court, just move it a little bit to the left or a little bit to the middle, not right at her, okay? All right, stay aggressive, keep talking. Expect something off speed, a push, a dump, something like that coming, all right? Make sure you're talking, ready for it, all right? Keep it up, here we go. Really just trying to give her some advice on their block because again, they're really gonna have to try and overcome the height advantage. So she talked about not floating. Floating is when you're jumping and floating out to the left or right. So establish that block, block go straight up and penetrate uh, and just adjust the block before you jump. Uh, but overall, they're, you know, nothing really to coach. They've, they've been uh, passing well, serving well and taking control here in set two. 10-5. Dagner Hartford able to double up Western Christian and Peterson again mm. with the serve. He's trying to go with the change up that time and it hits the top of the tape. It's one of the things you see that you never used to see is all the players now jump serving just to get any extra advantage you can. But it's a more difficult skill. You're going to find probably more error, especially at the high school level on those jump serves. Well, you still see some players are, do stand and serve, but more, more than likely more players are jumping. Weber gets in on the kill action, 11-6. She's there now. Again, the outside hitters for uh, Dr. Hartford, one and two, Bate Peterson and uh, Weber have really led this team. Sydney and, Peterson too strong on the serve. And Weber only a sophomore, so she's going to be back. And now the Wolfpack will put Emma Bausma back to serve. Yep, it was her mom who played here in the 1990s. Teammate of uh, Coach Tammy Verbeek. Bosmo will try oh, to keep it alive, and she does, oh, but... Thank you hard for making it tough on Western Christian. That quick attack, they're just not able to adjust defensively and with the block. They're going to do something differently on that block to really uh, compensate for that quick attack from Dyke New Hartford. Now to Verbeek. Weber. Set. 
Battle at the net, Verbeek gets it down. <laughs> Great timing there by Ethan Verbeek. You always want to get the second push. The second push wins, so uh, time it so you get that second push to uh, get the winner there. Now Tori Wienia will serve. Another beautiful pass. Hedges, and it was almost a miss hit by Rickard, but it does go. <laughs> yeah, she'll take it. Tell you, nice Madison Hedges doing a nice job as quarterback running the offense, really mixing up the sets, keeping that uh, block off uh, off balance there. For Beek, boy, when she runs the slide, <laughs> you saw the eyes of Daniel exactly. Hartford just kind of light up a little bit. And that's probably her best uh, skill as far as because she's a basketball player. It's like a layup, so she's just running a layup and doing a volleyball, uh, a kill to the right side. Of on that backslide. Hoffman serve. Hedges goes to the outside to Rickard. Blocked back. Good fundamental coverage there on that block. And the point goes to Dyke New Hartford. Kind of demoralizing. You get played tough and you get a block up there. And even with the block, Dyke New Hartford picks up, picks up the ball on really good coverage. And a couple of three service errors so far here in the second set for Dyke New Hartford. And they struggled with that off and on yesterday a little bit. And we're able to overcome it. But uh, again, this surroundings here, the, sometimes the perspective is a little off when you're in a huge arena. Avery Van Clay hedges to nice. Peterson. Van Clay will dig it out. Back row attack here. Beautiful dig. Dove has it blocked back down in the middle. Whoa, Corey DeYoung, the six-foot senior, says nah. -uh. Exactly, right up there, nice big block, big hands. Good scramble by uh, Dyke New Hartford, but just too much there at the net. Again, they're taking advantage of that height advantage here on those plays. Western trying to rally here after being down by five, and that one just did get in for Bailey Peterson. Again, beautiful angle shot there. Defense has got to swing to the outside to cover that behind the block. So you've got Bailey Peterson with eight kills. Eight kills also for Amber Rickard. Hmm. Now Hedges back here to Peterson. A little tap over, and she'll get it. Beautiful. Smart shot again. Not always just swinging hard, but finding the open spot. And good teammates telling her, hey, you've got two big blockers up there. Let's just roll it over. So hitter always wants to compliment or thank their uh, defensive player behind him for uh, telling him where to put the ball. You know, it's been a long time in the Class 2A title game as double hits going to be called here. 2009, since a team that wasn't named Dyke New Hartford <laughs> or Western Christian that has That's won the Class 2A <laughs> championship game. That's pretty amazing. So quite a run by both of these two programs and a joy to be here watching them. And we hope that you're enjoying it at home too as well. Right now, Dyke New Hartford up by three here in the second set, opening set. Went to the Wolverines at 25 to 15. Yeah, they just passed so well. <laughs> and the block back works for Jesse Dieger. Again, the, pat the set was a little tight. Uh, coverage has got to be there. And now a timeout by Dyke New Hartford. First time of the state tournament they've had to burn a timeout. 16-14, let's go to the Western Christian huddle. Peterson is up. We got to take away that sharp cross court. Major trying to hit the line. Okay, move the block in a little bit and get on this line. When Weber's in the front, Avery be ready for the seam. We might have to take a step that way, okay? Keep blocking like crazy. They have the dub up front who likes to run five. Okay, most of them are cross court. Don't get caught going backwards on defense. At the point of contact, get set, ready to defend, and stay on attack. Be the aggressor. We're right here. Okay, pack. One to the pack. Yeah, so key, some key things. They've gotten burned a couple times on the cross court attack. The block's a little bit too far out. Uh, both Peterson and Weber like to go cross court, so to move the block in, make them go line, and play defense on the line. So let's, let's see if they can make that adjustment here. These two schools are almost 200 miles apart, but yet they know each other by name. <laughs> and the kill is put down by Peterson. 
Well, and they move the block in, and that's what Kaylee Pierce, you know what, I'll just hit the ball down the line yeah, for a kill. <laughs> She's hard to stop. Bailey Peterson from the angle. Another nice pass. And Weber. Boy, now they're printing money here. It's like, that's that transition. They play great defense. They get the ball to the setter. The hot taker gets off the net. Bing, bang, and you, before you know it, the ball's back on the court. So. And a service yeah. error. I think it would... Uh, be a little bit more of a bigger lead here if they hadn't had three service errors for sure, but uh, getting a little rushed sometimes, the service error sometimes, especially was in the net. You're just taking, take your time back there. You've got time. Take a breath and focus on where you want the ball to go. Here's Skimper. <laughs> and a service error right back at you. Both teams a little shaky on serve here in this second set. So here's Sydney Peterson. Again, the liberos wearing the different colored uniforms. They got three substitutions just play in the back row. Hmm. And the point goes to Dyke New Hartford. That quick attack. Uh, the block's got to be a little quicker, a little more aggressive. Almost have to jump with the, uh, the hitter to be up there. It's like they're having a tough time finding Grandstra and Wienia, their mm -hmm. two setters. And beautiful up, nice pass. Here's Grandstra to put it over. To De Jaeger now back. Mm -hmm. Dyke New Hartford will get the kill down from Weber. And then they just uh, that transition from defense to offense is so quick for Dyke New Hartford. Western Christian's really got to do a better job of getting back to base, getting back to defense, and be ready. Now the Wolfpack of Western Christian will take a timeout here. 21-15, your score here in the second set. Let's go to the Dyke New Hartford bench. Looks like they're blocking the line, okay? So see where they're blocking you on that solo cut around it, okay? Good job defensively. When it's a broken play or a block, don't stab at it, right? Move your feet and go. It's anybody's ball, because you've been stabbing. When they set middle, you can't freeze either defensively, right? You two got to get back defensively. Don't freeze there, okay? Here we go. Let's take care of this point right here. This point. Okay, I'm just talking about adjusting where the block is, hitting around it. Uh, and, if, you know, typical of a good coach, like telling people to move their feet. People kind of get lazy. You're tired. You start reaching. Move your feet to the ball. Uh, just don't get stuck on your heels there, but keep, keep moving towards the ball. Sydney Peterson, ready to let it fly here. That's a nice pass. The Jaeger up front with a little tap over. That'll be her sixth kill of this match. Well, again, smart play by the Jaeger. She knew she had two blockers up there, just had to do something with the ball off the block. Oh, here Denver we go. Beak. Oh, <laughs> that floor took a beating. It's not her birthday, but that's a happy birthday. When you get an, get an overpass like that, you're just going to salivate as a middle hitter. It's like, boom. All right. Nice kill by Verbeek. Peterson was able to get a hand on it, and the floor said thank you. And this one will go wide. Well, there's a run here for Western Christian. Again, they've adjusted that block a little bit, so you've got to swing line. You can't, they're trying to hit around it, and it's just going wide there. Deficit from six to three that quick. Peterson from the back row and <laughs> caught Western Christian off guard. You know, and you can hit with a jump and an arm swing like that, she can hit from anywhere. So nice mix up there uh, to try and kind of change up the offense. Again, they're spreading out the offense, keeping Western Christian off balance. 11 kills now for Bailey Peterson. Oh. Free ball here. Groucho put it up to Verbeek. And it's blocked back down. And great block there. A little slow on that play as far as developing. It was kind of a slow attack, but a good good penetration there by uh, Madison Ho Madison Hoffman there. Sorry, that was uh, Morgan Weber. Now Verbeek again, handled by Dyke New Hartford. Ronstro will put it over. Oh, oh, smart, quick dunk. Smart. Found the donut. Kind of caught Dyke New Hartford in uh, no man's land there. They were in between offense, defense, and uh, nice play there by 
Grants Redis to push the ball over. Wolfpack needing a run. And Verbeek trying to help him out. It's a three-point game here. You know, a little more tough serve, but more difficult with that tight pass and the block all over it there. And that a timeout going to be taken here by Dyke New Hartford. They've had to burn them a couple of times, and they're out of timeouts now. Let's go back to the bench. So we need a good pass. We're starting to hop and jump. So get to the ball, feet down, platforms out. Just relax. Pass the ball like we know we can pass it, okay? Keep us off the net. Pull us away, all right? Here we go. Let's side it out right here. Let's go. Just kind of a reminder about their passing technique. They're uh, kind of stabbing at the ball. A good passing technique is you've got your uh, shoulders forward, your arms out in front, nice solid uh, forearms, even with the ball, and push that ball to the center. So just some basic technique to get back to the normal passing technique. A nice run by Western Christian, putting some pressure on here, trying to get back and make this a set here. The two did not meet during the regular season. And generally over the last three to four years, or last four years, they have met during the regular season at a tournament. That didn't happen this year. Here's Weber, and she'll get the kill. Yeah, nice 5'11 sophomore, big outside hitter. Set point. And a tight pass, but she handled it. Peterson will set it up. Bronstra to Verbeek. The splash, and it gets in. It's a beautiful dig there by Libero Balsama. Kind of an overhand dig to get the ball. Perfect pass up to the setter. Need to see more of that from Western Christian. Hoffman will rotate back to serve. Here's Peterson. She swings. She scores. I kind of knew that was going out there. It's like, okay, who are they going to go to to get the set? It is Peterson. Dyke New Hartford will take the second set, 25-21. They have a chance to sweep Western Christian when we return as you're watching the Class 2A State Championship here on Iowa Public Television. We are the curious. Wow. The adventurous. Oh. Those venturing out for the first time. <laughs> and those who've never lost our sense of wonder. Whoa. Are you seeing this? We are the hungry. Okay. The strong. I must be the greatest. The joyful. A happy little cloud. We believe there is always more we can uncover. More we can explore. We believe in the capacity for goodness. And the potential for greatness. The torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans. PBS. 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 Experience world-renowned musical performances during Festifall. The Beatles transformed music and pop culture forever. The Texas tenors blend country, classical, Broadway, and gospel. The Blue Band prepares to say farewell and more. Support musical programming on IPTV for thank you gifts such as CDs, DVDs, and even tickets to see some acts perform live. Festifall November 18th through the 21st and 25th through the 28th. Hello, I'm Molly Phillips, Executive Director and General Manager. We've received many calls and notes from you, our viewers, concerned about the future of public television. It is heartwarming to hear your stories of what public television means to you and your many offers of support. I invite you to visit our website, iptv.org, to join our I Love IPTV campaign and show your support for this essential investment in Iowa's families, communities, and future. Thank you. 
So we head to the third set. Dyke New Hartford taking the first one, 25-15, and they win the second one by four. And Sandy, it's been rather impressive fashion in which Dyke New Hartford's been able to get it done here against Western Christian. Exactly. Despite seven serving errors by Dyke New Hartford, their quick offensive attack and uh, balanced offense from a variety of uh, hitters has been pretty impressive against a big over oversized team from Western Christian. So as we take a look at it, though, I mean, it seems like the Power Five are getting things done. The Petersons also uh, with Hedges, and then you also look at what Morgan Weber's been able to do. I mean, they, they've got their players playing big time right exactly. now. Exactly, and we talked about having big games from Verbeek. Now, Verbeek came on strong in that second set, had five kills. They'll still need to continue that along with the Jaeger, see if they can get back and get a game off of Dyke New Hartford. So here we go to the third set. Dyke New Hartford trying to close it out and win yet another state championship. They have been on a title run for the ages as Weber will hammer that one down and Dyke New Hartford will start out in front, one nothing. And start where they left off there with uh, Peterson for the kill. Again, 15 straight matches in which they've been able to sweep their opponents. <laughs> That is mighty, mighty impressive. And into the net goes Dyke New Hartford, so Western Christian will get the point. A little over aggressive there on the block uh, by maybe that Sydney Loggy in there. Getting a little experience, a new player on the court there for Dyke New Hartford. A little mishandle, a couple. Uh, on four stairs there by Dyke New Hartford. 2 1 Western Christian with the lead. And again, Dyke New Hartford, they've been in six championship matches in as many years. They've gone five and won. That one <laughs> loss was back in 2015 to Western Christian. And the Wolfpack take a 3 1 lead. They're not going to go quietly. Actually, nice run here by uh, Western Christian. Now, Winnie is only a sophomore as well. So they've got some nice young players playing well out there. <laughs> and this one dug out of the back. It'll be played up. Peterson to Hedges. Now to the middle. Good bailout, the quick dump. Oh, wow. And Peterson can't get that one quite over. 4-1 your score. Scrappy, scrappy play on both sides of the net there. So Western Christian coming out strong here. I think this might be the biggest lead they've had. You know, you talked just a moment ago to see when you serve Jeff Linder from the Cedar Rapids Gazette. By the way, they do a tremendous mm -hmm. job covering high school sports here on the eastern side of the state, but also the state tournament throughout the week. He's a volleyball and basketball guru he has his way too early <laughs> poll for 2018 <laughs> but he actually had Grundy Center ranked number one in 2A he just tweeted that out just a few moments ago yeah they made a statement here they, a lot of people thought they would yeah, be in the finals tonight but we're seeing a lot of good young players here <laughs> on both sides they are both losing a lot 5-2 now your score and Verbeek real strong at the net there just uh, like I said too she's going to have to continue to really be aggressive up there Hoffman with the serve. Now Peterson. And how about that? Another kill for Bailey Peterson, and that's 13 kills tonight. And I think what's really uh, affecting the block is she's hitting so far off the net, and they're not used to having to wait on the block. They're up way too early on the block, and she's able to really use it in, uh, to her advantage. Bull Hughes' serve. Handled by Western Christian. Now they're getting their offense in motion. It took some time to develop, yeah. but they're gaining a lot of confidence, yeah. too. And now she'll come out with a uh, defensive player coming into the back row. But Verbeek talked about, you know, the emotion of playing for her mom and uh, starting since she was a freshman. This is our last match together here. So a little emotion here tonight for both uh, mom, and, mom and daughter. Oh. This one just kept the lock. What a play by Sydney Peterson. A lot of effort out on the floor. This one will go long. If she tried that just a few times successfully. That pushed uh, power tip a little too deep. But West, 
Sorry about that, but great scramble, great defensive save there by Sidney Peterson on that one play. Western with their largest lead of the entire match here at four. Dagna Hartford's been able to control it the first two sets. Yes. And make it five. But they're really uh, playing much better, playing more aggressive. They're passing well. They're getting into their offensive system. And a T.O. taken by Dyke New Hartford. Let's go to the Western Christian huddle. Way to sleep. High off their hands. Okay, now we're the one attacking. We're not going to just die easy. Okay, keep attacking. Keep believing in yourself. Get outside those blocks on defense. Low on defense. Okay, don't get beat on jump. Left front, roll shot, don't get beat going backwards. Pursue ball forward. Do you understand? Anything else? Okay, keep swinging. Block, block, block. Okay, let's go. Pack, one, two, three, pack. Attack is on that serving line. <laughs> That's great. You can see the excitement there, Coach Verbeek's here. A life, uh, new life with your team there, but they are playing smarter. They're hitting high off the hands. Uh, just a reminder to play defense around the block, not behind the block. Uh, just keep it up. They're playing a lot much better here in this uh, third set. Well, Western Christian has been here to the state tournament for a number of years. They keep on coming back. And Coach Verbeek has her own superstitions. One of those <laughs> is to eat pumpkin pie before each, the night before each match. And uh, yesterday when I saw her go pumpkin pie, she gave me the big thumbs up. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, they're definitely taking it to Dyke here in this uh, Dyke and Harper in this set here. Peterson with the bailout. Hedges over to the other Peterson. And Western just keeps it in. Hedges. Now to the back, and that one's going to be in. Whoa, spotted just in by Sidney Loggy. Nice shot there. That was a nice cross court inside the block. Had enough top spin to keep the ball in. Wolverines needed that. Exactly. I was just going to say the same thing. That was a nice run by Western Christian. And Dyke New Hartford trying to get on a run of their own. Again, serve receive. Critical. You've got to really focus in on that server. Nice tough serve there by uh, Aldirks. This one, a service error. And they've had their share of service errors can make come back to bite them here. Definitely turned the tables. It was 10-5 last game with uh, Dyke New Hartford leading at this point. Boy, Doves. <laughs> Shot dug out. <laughs> and Western <laughs> Christian wins that battle at the net. I'll tell you, just some scrappy play on both sides of the net. Much more uh, co court coverage for Western Christian. They're not standing still. They're moving. They're going for every ball. So nice adjustment there to uh, really take a lead here in this set. Nine kills now to lead Western Christian for Dieger. And coming right back at you goes Dyke New Hartford. And nice uh, set there by the libero, Sidney Peterson. This is what we expected in the match, a battle. Yeah. I said, uh, Coach Shiverbeek said they're not going to lay down and just die. They're going to fight. That time, Diego too strong. That ball a little bit behind her. Got to keep that ball in front. And here come the Wolverines. I would say set the ball a little tighter. They've got a height advantage. You need to set that ball tighter on the outside so those hitters can use it. For the tip up, blocked by Weber. Nice block there, but a little a low set. Kind of to have a nice high set for those big hitters to go up and use the block. Lead dwindles from six to three. And an ace for Dyke New Hartford. So three points here where the serve receive was critical at Western Christian needs to really get their passing, get their serve receive going here. Bailey Peterson feeling it. That's a better pass. And that's how you kill a drive. <laughs> Jesse yeah. Dieger. Get a pass like that, you can do something with it. Again, Dieger, nice, high, tight set, and she went up and killed it. Now here's Skimper again. Nice pass. Ball will be kept up. 
50-50 at the net, and Dyke New Hartford wins it. The height yeah. that time of Carly Dove, the 6-1 junior, won it over. Exactly. Western Christian not doing a good job here with their transition. Uh, hitters have got to get out, talk to their setter, let them know what they want. If they're not ready, they've got to get the set a little bit higher for them. And this one blocked back, and a lift, lift is going to be called. Yeah, kind of ball rolled up the arm there a little bit. You can't have a sustained contact with the ball, so a nice call there by the official. And New Hartford, Dr. Hurd back in the match here. They've really fought back. Yeah, from six down, now trying to tie it. And they have. We had some inadvertent music. <laughs> no, what that was. Timeout going to be taken here by Western Christian. We've got a tie game, our second tie of this Class 2A championship match. Let's go to the Western Christian huddle. Some point. Okay, defense wins game. Starts with the block. Okay, stick that ball. Want it to come to you. I want you to be back there and say, serve it at me. Hold that platform. Pull it through, okay? Don't let it break you. You play the ball. You own the ball, okay? Stick it to our setters, and then we talk to our hitters and we cover. Okay, let's go. Okay, we need the side out here right now. Break this server. Okay, side out. One, two, three, side out. Yes, I heard uh, Barb Randall in the other game talk about defense wins games, and same thing here, defense wins games. So that's server seat holding her platform still. Uh, and a really good tip for server seat. Own the ball. Don't let the ball come to you. You go after the ball and pass it and then cover as well. So good uh, basic fundamental tips to see if Western Christian can uh, get back here and side out. Back to Diego, the quick tap. Hedges over to Weber. Nice hustle. Free ball here for Dyke New Hartford. Hedges to the middle. And guess what? Record puts this one down. Beautiful quick transition there. Madison Hedge is doing a great job, but nice attack there. Way to be up there. I believe that was uh, Rickert up there. Wolverines with their first lead since it was one to nothing. And a sloppy free ball, but they did something with it. <laughs> and again, they're attacking the middle and having success. Rickert again. And Ten doesn't... kills for her. You don't really see it, but they run such a quick attack. It's like they don't have time on defense to really adjust. You've got to be ready right away. And a service oh, error service. by Dyke New Hartford. So Verbeek will rotate back in. And all these service errors are really opening the door here for Western Christians if they can take advantage. Weber, Bausma will dig it up. Verbeek tried to splash it down. And the point goes to Dyke New Hartford. And smart players. Dyke New Hartford is so well coached. Uh, not really there to make a good swing. So a tip to that uh, right side where the blocker would be. That's usually open. And she found a spot. Hedges serving. Perfect pass. Verbeek. Hedges over to Weber. Oh, what a shot. And again, that quick, 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 quick transition from defense to offense. And as I said before, nobody does it better than Dyke New Hartford. And that block's a little too far outside. They're going to take that angle every time. For big shot, going to be dug up by Weber, and Peterson will put it over. Nice pass. They run the slide, Verbeek, and it hit the mm. antenna. Uh, the, side, the set's a little too high, or she's going a little too early. Tried to bring that inside and caught the antenna, which is out of bounds. Antenna's an extension of the sideline. Can't, can't hit it, can't touch it. Now a four-point lead. And for big shot blocked back, Wolfpack could use another timeout here as this one's starting to slip away. And they've got to really work about on their body language. Our Western Christian looking a little defeated right now. They've got to hang in there. Stay up, keep fighting. They had at one point a six-point lead. Dyke New Hartford has rallied back, and now they're going to say that went on the opposite side of the antenna. And now the Wolverines wow. lead it 
19 to 13, and a timeout taken. Really surprising how Western Christian started out so strong, just falling apart here in the last few uh, points. They've outscored them 14 to 2 out of the last 16 points. Let's go to the Dyke New Hartford huddle. Stay aggressive. Don't reach for the ball, though. Up in front and penetrate. Don't reach for it. Defense, tips, rolls, off speed, okay? We got to stay aggressive, okay? Focus, identify where they're at. Okay, take care of it. All right, here we go. Yeah. Just your basic uh, good reminders as far as uh, talking to each other, watch where the ball is, get back to defense. Like, I'm just really impressed with their uh, their offense and their defensive transition to offense. Uh, really quick, really fast. That happens with that fundamentally sound players who control the ball. And you've got a setter like Hodges who can, um, Hedges who can distribute to a variety of hitters there. Let's face it, Dyke New Hartford is like an all-star team here this year with <laughs> the players that they do have, where they're going and moving on in Class 2A. Had a chance to talk to Coach Harms, asked her what she thought of this team, and she said she's really enjoyed the season. She said what's the most enjoyable part is the girls all get along. And of course, they've adjusted at the beginning of the season, and Tammy Verbeek, still trying to keep her team in this one, makes it a five-point game. And now a service error. Yeah, Verbeek had a nice cutback attack there. Service error at a critical point. When you're down, you've really got to keep the momentum. Can't give away a point like that. These two have met in the championship game four straight years from 2011 through 14. Beautiful pass. Peterson has her shot blocked. There's a great block. Head just tries to go deep. Her beak over. And guess what? Weston <laughs> Christian's going to get the point here. Nice quick reaction there by Burbeek. Really had, didn't have time to get off the net. The ball was right there, and she's tall enough she can just take it over for the kill. 11 kills now for Ashton. You know, she's got a nice big long reach at 6'2. Uh, Nebraska's going to like her on the volleyball, or the basketball court next year. Mm. Nice hustle. It's been played up, and how about the pounding? <laughs> Put together by Corey DeYoung, the six foot senior. Beautiful dig, nice set there. Good transition for Western Christian. Still trying to hang in here. It's go time for sure, Madison Hoffman. Mm -hmm. Great defense. And now a lift is going to be called. Side out, Dyke New Hartford. It's a tough, a tough uh, ball handle there. I think she tried to, she's going to push it outside and changed her mind. Double hit, uh, good call by the official. Mm. This one out the net. Boy, and it came right. A nice off, off of the dig, it came right to Sydney Loggy, who's had a big third set here. Exactly, and usually tried to bump set that out to the outside, a little too strong over, and gave a nice happy birthday there to that uh, right side hitter for Dyke New Hartford. Good pass. Weber to Hedges. And a double hit can be called here against Dyke New Hartford. A rare error for Hedges. Yeah, it's a little bit off balance, and the ball was pretty tight to the net, so we had a hard time handling that one. Now we've got Dieger up in the front. See if she can do some damage for uh, Western Christian. Bloody shot handled. Great cover. Nice job, Western Christian. Good coverage. And again, the blast. Boy, trying at that time was Dieger. But the timing and the jump by Dyke New Hartford. Yeah, Carly Duff having a great matchup there, going head to head with the height of uh, Western Christian. So kudos to her. And there are two points from their state title here. Yeah, championship point is looming. <laughs> Played over. Nice spot, but look at that court coverage. Oh, it's kept wow. alive by Sydney wow. Peterson, and Bailey finishes wow. it off. What a tremendous game wow. for Bailey. 15 kills wow. now. Fantastic court coverage. It's Championship gotta be, point. It's got to be tough. Alderks on the serve. Getting it done again.
as they are now six and one in the last seven championship games they've played in. Very, very impressive team. Uh, just so well coached, so fundamental. And uh, they just cover the court so well. They transition from defense to offense. Just a very well coached team. Uh, two senior twin sisters going out on top. 13th title overall. Let's take a look at championship point again. Again, that big block, they're a little intimidating. And the block just did it for Dyke New Hartford. It was a great season for Western Christian. They had a great, uh, great year and uh, nothing to be ashamed of, finishing second in the state tournament. What a run by the Wolverines this year. <laughs> Only a couple of 5A schools have defeated them. And Western Christian, of course, a tremendous season, but Dyke New Hartford better on this championship day, sweeping Western Christian 25-15, 25-21, and 25-17. Overall kill leader, kill leader was Bailey Peterson with 16. Amber Rickert with 12. Morgan Weber with 11. 36 assists by Madison Hedges. Mm -hmm. And 20 digs on the night. And none more important on the 24th point than Sydney Peterson's. Exactly. Just a really well coached team. Fun to watch play. And uh... Presenting the 2017 Class 2A All-Tournament Team is John Sanbathy, Regional Manager for Iowa Farm Bureau. Your 2017 Class 2A All-Tournament Team from Dyke New Hartford, Morgan Weber. From Western Christian, Jesse Dieger. From Council Bluff, St. Albert, Sydney McLaren. From Grundy Center, Kylie Willis. From Western Christian, Ashton Verbeek. From Dyke New Hartford, Bailey Peterson. And the captain of your all-tournament team from Dyke New Hartford, Sydney Peterson. <laughs> what an all-tournament team. Capped off by Sydney Peterson being named the captain. There were two Wolverines in, with double doubles tonight, Morgan Weber and Bailey Peterson. And kills and digs. And here's your all-tournament team. They're a part of it, along with Dieger from Western Christian, McLaren from Council of St. Albert, Kylie Willis of Grundy Center, and then Verbeek, Peterson, and Sydney Peterson. And the Peterson twins have been playing volleyball since they were probably uh, uh, just babies, uh, with their mom being the coach at UNI and a great uh, player in her right. So it's a nice job all around for the team. The whole team did a great job here for Dyke New Hartford tonight. Last game that they'll be playing as teammates on. From Western Christian and head coach Tammy Verbeek. The Wolf Pack. And now your 2017 Class 2A champions, Coach Dyer. Team state championships, and this one impressive too. In 2017, Dyke New Hartford, number one at the beginning of the year, and number one all the way through. And now they can hoist up the championship. You know, and a nice repeat from last year, uh, carrying on the tradition of great volleyball at Dyke New Hartford. So I'm sure the tradition will continue. Even though we've got some nice seniors graduating, got some young players come up. We'll uh, see if they can carry the load again next year. 
What a fun afternoon, but we've still got more volleyball coming your way. Here, Dyke New Hartford sweeps Western Christian 25-15, 25-21, and 25-17. Want to remind you, coming up next will be the Class 1A state title game. You've got Lamar Scalen taking on Janesville. That will come your way a little bit later on here this evening. For Sandy Stewart, I'm B.J. Shaven saying so long here from the U.S. Cellular Center as you've been watching the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union Girls State Volleyball Championships right here on Iowa Public Television. Funding for the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union Iowa Farm Bureau Girls State Volleyball Championships is provided by... The path to greatness starts early. The Iowa Farm Bureau believes in Iowa's youth and their pursuit of greatness. That's why we're proud to be the title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Each student's effort is important, and when one rises, we all rise to a better Iowa. Fairway, along with Nabisco, Frito-Lay, and Sara Lee, is a proud sponsor of the Iowa Girls Sports Championships. We congratulate all the schools and student athletes participating in this year's Girls High School State Volleyball Championships. Fairway, proud to care for the places we work and live. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialists, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community. MidAmerican Energy and their Energy Advantage programs are dedicated to increasing the awareness of energy efficiency in Iowa's homes and businesses. Information is at midamericanenergy.com. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service.